Hey YouTube, it's Icy, and welcome to the 12th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. If you are unfamiliar with this series, it's just me talking about the most important articles that have been posted on Best Tech and Phone recently. Now to start off, I wanted to talk about the tragic event that occurred today. An explosion at one of Foxconn's factories in China resulted in 16 injured people and two deaths. Officials are unsure what exactly caused the explosion, and the factory has been sealed off by police, and reporters were actually denied close up access to the site due to the possibility of a secondary explosion. And I would like to take this moment to give our condolences to the affected people and their families. In other news, the iPad 2 jailbreak still isn't out. And after many tech sites misquoted Muscle Nerd's tweet, he finally said there is no ETA as of now and anyone who is claiming that they have an ETA for the release of the iPad 2 jailbreak or who are claiming that it's already out is a fraud. And for those of you that don't know, Muscle Nerd is one of the main members of the iPhone dev team who are the ones that actually work on all of the jailbreaks. It also turns out that 99% of Android devices are vulnerable to hackers. In short, the Android OS allows companies to use users' digital tokens that could allow access to services such as Google Calendars and Contacts. The issue affects all Android devices running versions of Android prior to 2.3.3. So many devices are susceptible to these hackers because Google likes to keep certain Android devices on older versions of the OS in hopes of making those customers upgrade. Later though, Google claimed to have a solution in the works for all users. Now something that I found to be pretty interesting was Toshiba's demonstration of a 720p 367 PPI four inch LCD display at SID 2011. What's amazing is that this new display actually outclasses the 3.5 inch 960 by 640 326 PPI Retina display that Apple uses in their current iPhones and iPod Touches. And as I mentioned in the last episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors, Toshiba is rumored to be one of the companies that will be manufacturing LCD displays for future iDevices. This leads me and a lot of other people to at least consider the possibility of Apple incorporating a 720p 4-inch display into their next generation iPhone. And patently, Apple also dug up a patent that was filed way back in 2009 that relates to cloud music streaming with iTunes. And Apple was calling this service seamless and invisible to the user. And it also had details on how the service picks the location to retrieve data, whether it's local or stored on a server. And to break things up, I want to talk about the new profession that was recently announced for the Guild Wars 2 lineup. For those of you that don't know, Guild Wars 2 is the long-awaited sequel to the popular Guild Wars MMO series that has been in the works for years. And this new class is basically the jack of all traits and has a new gadget for every every situation and I found it to be pretty interesting and it actually looks really good and on the post that is down below in the more info there are videos demonstrating all of the skills that NCSoft actually demonstrated with this new profession however with all of its gadgets and with all of its new abilities I still think that the thief would be the way to go at least for me and finally the latest patent application from Apple describes a privacy mode on displays for their mobile devices that can steer display light beams in various directions, allowing only the person directly in front of the display to see this content. Basically, there would be a dedicated part of the screen that the user would be able to touch or a menu that they could bring up that would then allow them to access the controls so they could actually turn it on or off. And basically a software switch would flip on and then it would apply the necessary hardware adjustments to actually block out different viewing angles. So I found that this is pretty interesting and it would really be a nice addition to future iDevices. For the question of the day, let me know down below in the comments section whether or not you guys think that the 4-inch 720p display will make its way to the next generation iPhone or not. And I hope you guys liked this episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. Please remember to rate it up if you liked it and also subscribe to be updated every time I release a new video. And again, I hope you guys liked this episode and until next time, this is ICU signing out.